you have eight divisions of the competition. Is that's Edge? That's, oh, just dropping short. Yeah. And you out. So definitely keep your nose down and con concentrate and and play each ball on its merit. I think. Well, there's a pull shot into the leg side. There's going to be a couple as the chase is on out to the deep mid wicket fence. And a quick Ooh. flick. Actually, they might get an extra run here from that flick. Probably wasn't necessary in the end. And three runs. That's right. You've got to, when you get that width, you've got to throw the bat at it. I and think with, with a hard white ball, it generally goes over the field. Oh! oh. Well, mm. shouldn't bowl a wide off the pitch, I wouldn't have thought. There's Maguire. That is a very good cricket shot. Maybe shot of the morning, Aaron. Yeah, Macau. Facing Wilson. And he gets that through backward point. It might just have enough coverage and to get over the rope. Off. Yes, it does. So confidence now. Certainly on. As that's down the ground. Wonderful straight drive. And the rattle run away for four. No, it well does. Fielded. Magnificent piece of fielding. That one away. But anyway, he's pretty much has not bowled a bad delivery, Wilson. And that's the first one he's really pushed down the leg side. Now there's a big appeal. He's a sneaking. No, it's not. Wilson has his first. St. Anne's had the breakthrough, and McCowan is on his way. A big, big wicket. And everyone, everyone contributes something different. In the air. And hasn't carried, mistimed. A cut. Well, no, I think it was a, a genuine cricket shot. That's in the air. It's that was gone a bit top edgy. Yeah, that'll go away for four, you'd think. And yes, it does. Pretty much. We'll go from 64 to 24 in a in a real hurry. You know, if I got one for 50 here in the first grade SCA grand final, slip in place, catching cover, our men. We've got a gully as well. And there's a lofted cricket shot flying through the outfield, and that'll race away for four. That probably is the best shot so far this morning. Just think we might have a bit of protection soon, as that's whacked. The first really punchy shot. The man out there won't stop it. of us, which is probably providing a little bit, little bit of difficulty us to get a full, full view of the ground here. So. We're a little bit behind and outdated with the fielders out in the outfield. And that's hit firmly down the ground. And that's one bounce and over the boundary line for four. A fantastic shot. That's the first time cartilage has been taken on down the ground. Yeah. And, and really self-bowling. The field's a little spread. And, you know, initially he was on the money, but the field's a little spread. As that's hit in the air to the left-hand side, and it races across the turf. Here Land six balls and over. One side of the wicket. Yeah, it's a key. Isn't a captain's time? dream. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as I say that, <laughs> Sebastian Wishart has walked across his stumps and flicking through mid wicket neatly. Well, is that the example? But of I will be claiming that it was the line of the ball was outside off stump. A little bit of a, hit the bowling all round a position. Usually bats around seven, sometimes eight. Oh, yeah. now that's got through the field here. Chase is on, they're going to pick up two, and they should pick up three, and one on the arm. This may be Philip just a now little bit. The day unfolds as well. Was, will you North be bowling in similar conditions, Aaron? Yeah, I'd imagine. Now that's four. That's a great cricket shot. Crash through the offside. And a deep mid wicket and a deep backward square. So protection on the leg for Mallison. Now there's an appeal. I think the bat hit the ground. Rollins thought he had a catch. He may have been trying to probably about five or six steps less. Bowden. Look for a second, he's going to ramp something. I think he was. The former Linda the replays, that's hit firmly into the off and well fielded. There's a chance at the non chance of non struggle. There's a chance the bowler's end, and it's, well, it's calamitous cricket. And they may actually end up getting a single. Did they even get a run? Well, they ran about four. But Bowden's still at the striker's end, and Wishart at the non striker's end. We've got another bit of play in action and a chance for this game to be finished today. And that's it in the air. That's a good cricket shot. That is six. And as Maguire comes in off the short and run. That ball is very wet and that's nicely timed. That's actually flying across the boundary. That's a great cricket shot. Kind of need a couple of flannels, I reckon, today to keep this ball dry. Just take a little bit more porous than a red cricket ball, the white one, as that's hit high down the ground. Didn't quite time it. It might still be enough. Chase is on. The chase is enough. He's certainly not through for a behind. And another boundary to the Norfolk attack. And now it's hit in the off. That's also in the gap. 
And is that another six? Yes. There's Cameron to continue. That's Hoyt to leg. It's a great cricket shot. Tremendous result. That's flicked away nicely. And that will be four runs. So another boundary to Booth for 36 with the stumping in that over of Harry Booth. Looks like he's bowled it. That's another one. So Mallison gets his second. Heisel goes. TCR Premier League cricket as he strolls in that nice high arm action. Well, that's hit high in the air. It's going to go over the infield. And the first boundary, you imagine, is going to be on the board. Just on the board well. in the air. It's just going to get over the infield. And extra cover, a straight cover. And another four. So the intent early here. St. Anne's did when they bowled. Giddis and others in that middle over. And that's hit. Is that caught? I think that's an outstanding catch at straight cover. Harry Mallison. Booth. Is that Booth? That's Harry Booth. Harry Pudding. Booth taking an absolute screamer down to his right-hand side. And the massive wicket of Mallison is out in the first over. Bit of a mixed bag from Rigby. And the first wicket down. And it's that of Mallison. And let's see on the replay. Let's see this catch from Booth. He's hit it pretty well. Oh, wow. that's a great catch. That's cat-like there by Harry Booth. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Roberts and Josh in the commentary position bringing you live. Is that short? Oh, and that's shot. smack through forward square for four. That was a very nice shot there. Today might uh, might be partaking in a few beverages this evening. Uh, yeah, New Norfolk Club Rooms sponsor us. Yeah, at the footy club. Yeah. And yeah, there's a big appeal. Might have pitched just outside leg stump and just down there. Yep. Yeah, just pitched out of overs like eight or nine or whatever. Yeah, like. that's right. So yeah, I'm, today's ten. So. In, um, if, if it's at the start, that's a oh, good that's shot a good by Shelton. No one's there. That is four runs through. Speed bowler. Do you keep sort of an aggressive field and say to both Rollins and Shelton, you've got to go oh, over I think the game plan from um, Norfolk would obviously be 15 overs. You can have as many field, fielders back after that, so five fielders back. But yep. catch that. Now that's in the air. Is that another that's catch and cover? Oh. We're in the 10th over here. That's in the air. That's another one. Oh, Shelton is out. He'd be praying for another one of them balls. <laughs> Well, it kind of surprised him. It's, I mean, it's not super dark, but we're kind of behind the arm here. And he's not bowling super quick, McCulloch, but he certainly surprised Cameron. He's got a free hit. The field can't change. Free hit. It's hit inside out. Over extra cover. They'll pick up at least two as Booth's an occasion. It's still got just the one gully now. There's two slips in play. That's, the That's one there. Oh, hit. Shot. He moved his feet. Well, he didn't really move his feet. Worked up about middle oh. stump. Oh, dearie me. That is out. Oh, no. Nah, no, he's, he's not. He just he got in. Safe. Wow. They've taken all two stumps out of the ground. The bales are everywhere. That was a great take there by. The field stays up. And is that out? Just got his foot oh, back, I think. Well kept there again. Really a bit of keeping. <laughs> Superb keeping. He's just got it. He just doesn't help. That's in the air. Oh. It just gets over Eisel. It actually might even go out before. It does. That's flying across the outfield. It goes through for behind. Okay. Oh, He's you'd hope so anyway. Yeah. There's McCulloch into Camerick. There's Camerick yes! crashing that one through the offside. That's four runs. And crashing its way over the line. So the score just creeping closer to 80 here. Catch. And that's in the air again. Another one. That might have gone through the fingers. She did take the chain, the pace off the ball. That's and oh, that that's is nice. pretty much stopped nearly on the boundary. But it's four oh, runs anyway. Once it gets to kind of that seven and a half to eight and over, it becomes very difficult. That'll help. That's a good shot. That is smacked by Camerick away for four or over point. Oh, that's gully, I think. Well, don't bowl there. Classic, oh. classic dart, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's classically darted out for four by Cox shot. So a good start, Rick. And Cox shot just working into his innings. That's an answer now, probably back on level pegging. Now that's an, an optimistic appeal. You're going to review it too. Oh, yeah, nice. If he actually jumps a bit high, you sometimes lose more. If he jumps there, he actually keeps his back foot on the ground, which actually. That's only four runs. That is a good shot from Cox shot. Four runs. On the covers too. So if he bowls short, he's just going to flick it over if he bowls the top. Short, yeah, yeah, I think he's in trouble. He's got short. plenty of protection on the offside. Even if he does bowl short, he's got protection. So he's only got one option. And that's that's, uh, that's going to be out. Yeah. That is out. Yeah. Rollins gets the wicket. Kamerick is the man out. Not timing a pull shot. Well, maybe you just change that one up a little bit. Rigby. Defensive field. Gully in place. 
and Cartledge defends. Oh, to Harry now Booth again. Oh. It's a nice bit of fielding. I don't think it's out, though. Harry Booth again. Bottom end of the ground, and he, he found a fair bit of it. The fielders are maybe able to protect that area. That's in that the air. I think that is going to be all the way over. Sedan's fans applaud. Six runs and a half century. His cock shut. Is he going to raise his bat? Just leans on it. Wow. Now he's gone again. That's four runs. And another boundary. We need a couple of Harrys out there just to inspire in Norfolk's McCulloch in his last over. Tries to change oh, it up. Oh. Now he's gone down the grounds. A chance for a catch. What a catch! Yeah, a magnificent catch! Matt Bowden has taken a blinder on the boundary. Will that turn the grand final? You Norfolk think it does. St Anne's lose cock shut. Overs is the uh, chasing over mark. So it's not a full game here if you're just tuned in. That's in the air. How's a man coming in? Harry Booth. It's uh, Nugget. Oh, it's Eisel. Eisel's taken a mark. Becky. Is he going to kick, go back and kick the goal? A I massive wicket. The knee up. What a, what a mark. And Cartledge has been caught. Driving down oh. the ground. Oh, it's hit the umpire. Well, that's probably Krenners. saved. Do you reckon that's saved two? It was probably going for two, I reckon. At least two, I think. I don't there. think it was going for four, but. Well, footer there. By all means, you can disappear. That's in the air, but that should be safe. They might pick up two. They're quick between wickets. The Rosenol was very good. He told to get back. Well, there's a chance at the. Oh, there's going to be a run out. Stu Beauty. Well, maybe he wasn't necessarily quick enough. A run out at the keeper's end. From long off. Who threw that? Thanks, Smith in. He's bowling to Rosenol, who drives firmly through the off. Wonderful cricket shot, and he finds a fence. As oh, Wilson Robert. knocks it down the ground. They should get two here. The That's man's a quick. long way out there. There's going to be a chance at the bowlers, as I should say, the keeper said. Yes. It's another run out. Unbelievable fielding. Wilson has been run out at the keeper's end. Extraordinary piece of fielding. They still get one of the runs. Burbs of Hobart in the Southern Cricket Association for 17 18. Rollins. Yes. Bit of a well, it's worked fine. It might be chased down. It's going to be touch and go. No, it is not. And you can listen to the noise to our right as the NAN supporters. Rollins. And that's going to be hit off the offside. Now they're going to have to be quick here. One run. Yeah, no. So a single. To Maguire, 193, one over left. I think that's me. I think I can't watch anymore. Hey, mate, thanks very much, Josh. I know <laughs> you're a New Norfolk pleasure. supporter. Go and have a break, mate. Good luck for the next six deliveries. Let's nice. see what happens. Six balls left, nine runs for victory. In fact, eight runs will do the job. A tie will win it for St Anne's as they finish on top of the ladder. And a tap on the back for Josh's great work here for coming in, but he's absolutely frantic at the moment. As there is stacks of noise, there's stacks of excitement. We'll have the full coverage of the presentation after the comm commencement of play. It's Rigby to bowl one over. He's bowled nine. He's bowled two spells already. And he's going to have to bowl the final over as Maguire and Rosenol having a bit of a conversation in mid-wicket. The sun is shining mid-off, mid-on. Well, I should say long off, long on at back. I think there's going to have to be a change here because we're going to have to get the mid-wicket inside the circle. That, that's what's happening. So mid-wicket's coming inside the circle. And there's some protection now out to deep extra cover on the fence. And now another player just comes onto the offside. So if you look at this, he's going to have to bowl middle and off. He cannot bowl too straight because it will disappear to the leg side and there's runs. Whew, 193, 202 the target. Nine runs will get them to 202. They only need eight. They only need eight runs. St. Anne's finishing on top. A tie will give them the victory. And that's hit through the offside. There should be two here. There's always a chance to run it. We've seen two amazing runouts. And I think we've seen another. Holy trousers. Incredible stuff. One run closer, but a run out going for two. The Rosenol stays not out. My heart is pumping. So the Rosenol stays not out. He's on 20. Whew. And it's Daniel Giddis. Daniel Giddis is the last man in for St. Anne's. 
Daniel Gitter strides to the crease. We're just having a bit of a breather as Josh has exited the commentary position. Eight runs will do it. In fact, it's not the Rosinol. He's actually the man out in all the excitement. It's Wilson who's the man not out. Apologies for that. It's a bit frantic going on around us at the moment. The crowd's built again. It's Rigby. It's the final stages of the grand final. It's taking, it's like a basketball game where they eke every last second out of it. Rigby, the man who's bowling from the southern end of the ground. And that's smack. Good shot. They should pick up two. And he gets through. So six runs, and that's punched down the ground. One bounce. They're going to come back for a second. Could this be it? I think it is, and it is it. New Norfolk are the champions, and they've done it with run outs, they've done it with building. And somehow they've eked this game out, and they've won by five runs. New Norfolk win by five in the grand finals. Their fans stream onto the ground. St. Anne's couldn't quite do it at the very death. Cockshut was the man in the middle who tried to get them to victory, had them positioned, but he got caught by Matt Bowden on the boundary line. Another run out by Matty Bowden as well, turned the game. And you Norfolk are the victors. They've come from third, they've come through the elimination final, and you can see the heartbreak on the St. Anne players. Wonderful effort to get back into this game. A wonderful effort to manage to sneak out this victory and we'll have all the coverage of the presentation and we'll have a few breathers at the moment as unfortunately St Anne's haven't been able to manage to win this game finishing on top of the ladder New Norfolk getting beaten heavily in the second semi-final have come down the valley of love into the northern suburbs and have won in the sunshine here at Claremont for our boys uh, we've worked hard all year We've uh, had a bit of a change up with the team all year and um, just awesome. Uh, awesome to Jamie, Riggers and just all the boys. Good work. Thanks. Uh, I'd just like to ask now the new Norfolk captain, Jason Rigby, to come forward um, to accept his Premiership medallion. And uh, I'll get you, Jason, to call up each of your players to, yep. to, to grab their medal as well. Uh, we'll step with you. Well, mate. Yeah. 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 Uh, Matty Bowden. Yeah. Harry Booth. Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good. Rowan Heron. Joe McCulloch. Nathan Eisel. Uh, Jordan Bank Smith. Bang. Josh Dykes. Yeah, Josh Rollins. Yeah, Mo! Yeah, Mo! <laughs> Adam McCowan. <laughs> Sunday. 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 And Jake King. Yeah. Um, I'll just ask Jason now just to say a few words on behalf of New Norfolk. Uh, yeah, firstly, St Anne's obviously, you have been the best team all year. We flogged us two weeks ago, so um, yeah, you, you know, it was obviously a tough day with the weather, but we certainly appreciate the fact that you made an effort, you had the covers out there, you didn't want to win by default, so 
It says a lot about you guys as a club, so I appreciate it. All your volunteers that have done the uh, campaign. Um, obviously, uh, the umpires, beautiful game, guys. I mean, I know it's tricky. Um, given the weather and we're obviously desperate to get out there but you handled it really well um, and Jacko as well so thanks very much guys. Um, uh, to Hilsey uh, and our board and, and our club and I guess the community as a whole we've got great numbers here it's, it's one of the best clubs well the best club I've ever been a part of um, the support is amazing um, so thanks obviously for coming here today and getting around us and no doubt we'll see you up at the club room tonight for a Uh, so, on behalf of the Southern Cricket Association, I'd like to now uh, hand over the 2017-18 Premiership Trophy to New Norfolk. Yeah. Okay, so that concludes the presentation. Thank you, uh, everyone. Drive home safely, and we'll just grab a few photos of the team. Thank you. If you do, Maddie, or Seb. <laughs> that note? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Where's the champagne? <laughs> Are we good? Uh, Jason, uh, the winning captain. Are you coach as well? Yep. So, winning captain, coach, and bowled the last over. Uh, yeah, obviously a little bit nervous going to that last And you had to change ends too, it was your third spell. What did you think coming to that last over? Um, well, we just needed to make sure that, well, I think we had 10 or 8 runs yep. to play with or whatever, so as long as we didn't let them get a boundary, I thought we were, we were going to be okay. But a um, couple of runouts at the end, I think our fielding was awesome. So, fielding, you know, the good throws over the top. So, yep. yeah, we're obviously pretty excited. What do you think about halfway through? Cockshut was kind of on his game, you were four down. Yeah. What was your strategy to get that extra wicket? We just, we knew that, like, Roland, Shelton, Cockshut, um, and Mallance and they're four, they're damn near the four best batters in the comp. So we knew if we get them early, we'd be a chance. Cockshut's made 50 against us every time he's played this season, so it's obviously a bit scary, but um, yeah, Matty Bowden, the shortest bloke yeah. in the field, took a hanger down the boundary, and, and I guess the rest is history. So yeah. it's certainly nervous. Oh, well, we had a great view on Duff TV of that catch. It was about half a foot from the boundary line. It was Perfect. an absolute blinder. Uh, celebrations tonight, mate, in the, in the Valley of Love? Yeah, so we'll, uh, I think a few of the guys that live in town will just go and get changed and whatnot, and then we'll head up to the, the footy club rooms, and I think they'll put on a bit of gas for us tonight. So, so they're, they're your sponsor, aren't they, at the club rooms? Yeah, they're one of our major sponsors. So yep. We've got a lot. It's, it's obviously a great club, good yep. community. So um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty solid weekend, I reckon. Well, congratulations. Congratulations, it was an awesome game to combine, awesome game to watch and uh, enjoy the celebration down the valley love tonight. Beautiful, thanks guys. All right. Cheers. That's Tough TV and what one of the, the best games of cricket you'll ever see. SCA five runs, New Norfolk are the champions in 2017-18. Sign out here from Cadbury's. <laughs>